I, uh, uh, I've been a cop for almost 20 years. I started my 20th year next month, actually here in a couple of, uh, about a week and a half. And over that 20 years, you see a lot, a lot of good things. You know, you get to see people laugh, but a lot of the things that you see and that you go through are, are emotionally draining. They're, um, you see people that are at their absolute lowest and uh, you have to deal with that in a professional manner. You have to stay you know, together when you deal with all that. And so over time, and it builds up that uh, you, you don't get a chance to have an outlet for, for, for that that you feel. And you, you let it build up. And there's not a lot of times in police work, there's not those outlets that you can talk to because your, your friends become police officers, you know, and, and all of your friends are police officers. So you, you look at it almost like you don't want to talk to them about it because you know they're going through the same thing. So you lose that connection. But it, it starts to wear on you and it wore on me over time. Um, I spent some time in Afghanistan. I, I spent some time in Haiti. And in those two places, you know, it, it, all of the stress of not only being overseas, but the things that you see. And then on top of that, all of my police career, um, I, I pulled a, a two-year-old out of a car that was that was killed by a drunk driver, and, and you see that, and and that that eats at you. And so, uh, it, it had eaten at me to the point to where I, I work for a great police department now, and they were able to give me almost two months off of paid admin leave to go get my head straight because they realized it was affecting me. And um, I went to went to some doctors and and actually got diagnosed with PTSD and depression. Um, over uh, a cumulative um, effect of, of the last 19 years of police work. And so I was lucky that, that Jeff contacted me. We've been friends for years and that Jeff contacted me and, and, and realized what I was going through and offered um, Scarlet to me. And I had never thought about it. I'd never thought about the fact that, you know, I would need a service dog for myself, a, you know, a companion for myself. And I, I, I talked to my parents about it. My parents and I are very close. I talked to my, my parents about it, and they were extremely supportive. They were, they were blown away. They were like, yes, that is exactly what you need to, to help relieve that stress, to have that smile on your face. And so I, you know, I contacted Jeff back and, and, and uh, went down there, and, and him and his wife, Missy, we, we, we met up, and, and they brought Scarlett out there. And, I mean, it was, it was instant. It wasn't. I mean, it was, I walk up and she just ran up to me and, and, and within just a couple minutes, she's just licking my face and we just bonded, I mean, just as quick as anything. And uh, so I was so happy. And, and since then, you know, my, my down days, I, I just think about the fact that I'm about to have, you know, a partner in this whole fight. And um, it, it, it brings a smile to my face just thinking that she's going to be here. So that once, you know, she's actually in my home and once she's her and I actually working together, living together, and, and, and being partners in this whole fight against this PTSD, that it's gonna be pretty amazing. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty stoked about that. And uh, I just, I cannot wait. And it is a, a definite blessing from God, definitely. So we got an email that we were gonna be getting Scarlett as a board and train from uh, Noonan Coweta Humane Society and got a little bit of her backstory. She had been there since January, it's now November. Uh, she came in, she was pregnant, she lost her entire litter of puppies. Um, they nursed her back to health, got her doing much better, but she still got overlooked time and time again. So they contacted us to get her some training to see if that would help and see if we could help get her adopted out. And uh, about the same time, I um, saw a post on Facebook from a friend of mine from college who uh, had spent some time in Afghanistan and Haiti, um, came back from all of that and started a career in law enforcement. And he mentioned that Jim just really wasn't cutting it for his PTSD. And I thought maybe we had a, a good thing going, so I contacted him to see if he was interested in possibly having a service dog. And uh, the rest of that's kind of history. So uh, we're real excited to, to get them together and um, get her protected now that she's a service dog. Uh, breed restrictions won't apply to her anymore. So uh, we're really excited about that.
Hey guys, it's Jeff off Leash Canine Training. Today we have got Scarlett here with us. She is a uh, almost two year old pit bull. Um, she comes to us from Noonan County, a humane society. They've asked us to give her some training and try to get her rehomed. So um, we're gonna see what she knows here today and we'll go from there. Scarlett, can you sit? Sit. Can you sit? Scarlett, come back. Damn. So we see what she knows, um, we will work on her over the next two weeks, get back with you then. Thanks so much. Right. 